monsters in the opening animation do we have? Hmm, I think we're only missing a few. Yeah, Command Knight we definitely don't have. We can fuse for that one. Hmm. I wonder if anyone's made a deck of just, uh, only can you beat Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses with only monsters found in the animation? <gasps> that actually sounds like a, a pretty fun playthrough. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Maybe I should cut that part out of the intro and keep that idea to myself. Yeah, before someone steals it, you know. <laughs> uh, the things I think of, I tell you. Uh, I think we can turn this up a bit. It sounds a little quiet. Yeah, let's go to 40. Just pure 40. Okay. Alrighty, guys. What's up? Last time we did a couple duels versus uh, Bones and uh, Rex. Uh, today we're, we're going to take on Panic. We've only played him twice, so and I'm not, you know, necessarily going to balance it out. Uh, the main thing, of course, we always want is to rank up. Um, but, you know, sometimes it is a little funner for me to just do, you know, uh, like four or five episodes in a row. Where I'm just basically, you know, dueling and commentating and, you know, whatever. But then, you know, the next recording session, we, you know, we kind of buckle down. We do more, um... We do more, ah, Kagani, a nice start. We do more, um, you know, of the, like, S-Tech kind of goals. Another Kagani, Kage Bushi no Jutsu. All right. Pretty good start for us. We can bait out some of his traps or monsters with this strategy. Okay. So let's keep uh, pressing on here. Fusion for Aqua Dragon. Let's check before I move forward. We do. Nice. Pretty good starting man. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Fusion time. Let's go Aqua Dragon. Alright. We're just charging at him with three monsters. I end my turn. Okay. Hmm. There he goes. Oh, a fusion of his own. Could that be the legendary Saman Skull? It is. Woohoo! 3500. Yeah, you can see, like, all you would need with that is maybe a couple power ups. And yeah, this guy can OTK you. Luckily, you know, Ka luckily for me, Kaganingen's actually a shadow clone. That means I don't take any actual damage from it. <laughs> that sounds like something Jayden would say in the anime. <laughs> Lightning Strike! Summon's Call! Oh man, I love Summon's Call. Also love the Yavi field. Can I just say? I love... I almost love it more than the water field. Which... Sounds like a betrayal of, uh... You know, the Flood... Uh, motto. But, uh... I don't know, just something about the stars, the dark... I love everything about how the field looks. Alright, so there's Summon Skull. Hmm, no trap cards. Might be a good idea to play a little defense. We'll stay put with Aqua Dragon. If he moves out of the way of his deck leader, I'm thinking what his stats would go down to. So if he moves out, he's at 3,000. And then Aqua Dragon could change the field. So I think we could beat him, yeah. Um... But for now, let's, let's give ourselves a little space and run away. Definitely a good idea in this situation. Okay. So if he attacks Kage Ninge, I think we'll be okay. As long as that card behind someone spills an out of trap. Um, hmm, I could just wait for him to attack Aqua Dragon, honestly. <laughs> you know what's funny? That may be the safer play. Just so I don't run into like a mesmeric control or, you know, something crazy. We're seeing some epic attack animations to start this episode, though. Another lightning strike by Summon School. And yeah, you can see the lightning effects a lot better on the Yami field. So, pretty awesome. Yeah, been a pretty epic series of recording sessions. You know, we had a... Uh, Dark Magician, Ultimate Green Moth, uh, you know, Blue Eyes last episode, Summon Skull this episode. Good stuff. Okay, we can summon now. Let's, uh, 
just move over here. Yeah, I'm gonna play a little cautiously. I'm gonna wait for him to attack me. And we're just gonna summon our deck later over here. Yeah, I mean, ideally, he should walk into Aqua Dragon. And he's well away from his deck leader, so... I just don't want to run into any, you know, any trap at this point. That'd be really bad, so... Yeah, yeah. Cool. We're good. We're good. We're good. Alright, now time to counterattack. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, Panic, this isn't the anime where Summon Skull gains a thousand point boost due to Makiyu the Magical Mist or any, you know, Suijin flood in the field or anything. Here, Summon Skull has no effects. I wonder if Makiyu the Magical Mist is even in this game. Obscure power for Summon Skull like Elf Slight or Seven Completed, you know? I could, I could see that being the case. I don't really know everything about this game though, but I, it wouldn't surprise me if Makiyu has a power for Summon Skull. That's how some of the old school uh, Yu Gi Oh games did it. They would just have Summon Skull gain like 700 attack. Pretty good idea, honestly. Even though that's definitely not how the card action works, you know. Uh, in the anime or in uh, TCG, but you know, giving it 700 attack is honestly pretty good. Alright, now what will you do, Panic? Are you beginning to panic? Maybe you should. I just outed your best monster. Okay. Ooh, Aqua Chorus. I like that. I like me some of that. Alright, let's set this in defense mode. Okay, and let's move a little closer to him. Let's go right here. Yeah. And I will... I'll stay safe over here. Nah, I'll move a little forward. We got Aqua Dragon. I'm feeling a little more confident. What you gonna do, Panic? Dark Mystery Loop. Okay, well, he's not gonna summon toward us. I didn't expect him to. This guy does love to play a lot of traps, so... Okay. Aqua Dragon in. Um... What can we do here? Another Aqua Spirit. Uh, I mean, uh, made up the aqua is honestly pretty good. Let's put this one... I'll put it right here. It'll be at how much defense? Yeah, that's pretty good. 3,400. Okay. Uh, I guess we will In the turn there. Over to you, Darkness Ruler. Yeah, and some of the duels with him can go pretty long. It just depends if he's, you know, pretty aggressive or he's more going into his, you know, trap, you know, stunning strategy. You know, it, it, it's kind of a matter of luck, you know. Anyway, another epic showdown here between King of Yami Makai and Aqua Dragon. Ah, Kakarot, Galagon, Fire! I decided to rename it because it is kind of red. It's actually more dark than red, but you know. I can't stand your Kakarot, clown! Galagon! <laughs> Honestly, sounds pretty good <laughs> for my Vegeta voice. <laughs> uh, take my burst stream of destruction, though. Everyone knows that that attack wins because blue is better than red, and the Kamehameha is better than the gal garlic gun. I mean, the garlic gun. I mean, the hippopotamus. Hyper lion. Hyper. Ronic lion tamer. Hypebola mind chamber. I probably shouldn't say that. And demonetize, Josh. Demonetize. Nice job, buddy. Uh, you know what? Let's just play Aqua Chorus now. Screw it. Alright. Because we're going in. We're going in. Aqua Dragon solo mode, baby. Okay. 3350? Let's go here. Ah, crap. Well, I did boost my stats. This really doesn't change the equation for you, uh, Darkness Ruler. Yeah, I mean, I guess it does, um, spell by me. I almost said paralyze. <laughs> Thinking of Pokemon. I guess it does spell by me for one turn. Holy crap! Aki Kiron with all the boosts is at 31. That's honestly pretty good. Let's just leave it here in the, uh, yeah, same type friendly range. And See if he attacks us. I get my turn. He might attack Aqua Dragon and do something stupid. I don't know. Uh, what? Doesn't look like his AI is going to summon close to that zone. Okay. Bring it on. Ryukushin Power. Yeah, if you had left your uh, deck leader close, we actually would have tied. 
Pretty crazy, yeah. Yeah. Its attack stats can reach high high power. Let's see how Ryukushin power attacks. Oh my god, flamethrower? Oh, dude. And the black smoke. Oh, baby. What a cool attack. But your fiends are weak to pixie dust. Get him, Akihiran. Yeah, this is the card I was talking about as far as job change memory and the summon skull fusions. It won't work with this 1600 attack fiend. Uh, that's what his attack is normally. Uh, yep, any other fiend, it should work. Unless, like, if you try it with Zoa, I don't think it will work because Zoa's attack is above uh, summon skulls. Yeah, so I don't think that would work, but it's pretty good. And earlier he fused. Oh, Whiptail Crow. Ah, we remember this guy from uh, Yu Gi Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. <laughs> really early in the playthrough, we were using him. Uh, let's go with. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with uh, Starboy here. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna move in. We're gonna leave him close to us uh, for now. And see if he moves up and attacks us, you know? Uh, yeah, we'll end the turn. Wait for Aqua Dragon to come back online. Alright, defense mode. Oh, is he gonna summon and attack Starboy? Ah, uh, coward, coward. Okay, so let's... I feel like this should be game over. And it is, it is, I just thought of... Can I summon a monster? I can. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. To uh, see if he... To scout out if he has a trap, we're gonna use Starboy's effects. Then we're gonna summon on top of Starboy with... Doesn't really matter. Uh, ground attack or bug rod, sure. To make amphibious bug rod. Then we will attack with this first. Oh, he doesn't have a trap. Okay. But if he would have had the trap, you know, behind him, then it, uh, bug rod would have triggered it first. Then uh, Aqua Dragon could have attacked the game. So, yeah, that's the best way to play around is traps, you know. If you can. I mean, sometimes you just you get a little overwhelmed and you can't, honestly. So. Okay. Ooh, job change mirror is here. Right, let's go for that. That's one. Ooh, I missed big time. Uh, oh, well, I could try for three in a row. Let's do it, baby. Uh, oh, it's just below uh, Tears of the Mermaid there. Okay. Was close though. I pressed it earlier than I normally do too. It's just, yeah, yeah. Did, didn't quite get it. That's the first time we had a chance for three in a row though in a while. So, uh, how many total games are we at now? 102. Okay, 102. All right. So from here, let's go face. Um, let's switch decks. No, no, no. Let's keep the same deck and let's face. We haven't faced Bandit Keith in a while. I'm sure he's missing us. So let's go face him real quick with our Flood deck. And then we'll switch probably to, uh, I don't know, the Dark Magician deck to and close out against uh, Rex or Weevil, you know. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's so nice being able to duel, you know, a handful of, you know, five or so opponents. This hand is liquid rank just awful uh what do i even do here <laughs> i guess i'll play starboy right here nah nah nah, nah. let's play let's play fake trap because normally he'll summon to the his right and we can use fake trap to beat out whatever he plays okay yeah yeah Good decision, good decision. Okay. So let's see what we draw here. Not bad, Komori Dragon. Okay. That changes my mind almost. So I think Trap go inside into the very outside. We'll fuse a rock and a dragon to make a rock dragon. Actually more of a stone deed. Like a stone toad, you know? Stone toad. Alright. Okay, let's end the turn. Those are all kind of help things, for sure. Alright, is he gonna attack my fake trapezoid? What you got? 
Ooh, dangerous card. Yeah, as I'm sure you guys know, if this card's destroyed, yeah, everything in a 3x3 three three area is destroyed as well. And so, yeah, definitely gotta watch out for that. Hmm, something we can do here, to be a little clever, let's play Amoeba face up, so he's inclined to attack it, and we will end the turn. Okay, that way we'll get some water spread on the field. Give me a little more options. Yeah, come for my stone knee. Alright. And here's Blast Juggler's attack. Yeah, so with the uh, downgrade of the water, we can really destroy it with anything. Um, I'll probably use Kaganingen to, uh, yeah, just attack it. Double strike attack! This is a very good card. Um, you may be wondering, does Blast Juggler show up in the uh, graveyard slots? It's pretty good, right? Nah, it actually doesn't. The only way to get this card, I think, is a three in a row. Or Reincarnation, maybe? I'm not, I'm not too sure on Reincarnation, but... Uh, there we go. There we go. It's down to 300. All right. So, uh, yeah, yeah, but pretty good card. Pretty cheap cost, 22. Great effect, man. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking Kaganinga. I'm thinking Kaganinga. Uh, but the clone will, will go, usually goes in front of my deck later, so let me move over here. And we'll switch Stony to defense, actually. And let's attack with Kaganinga. Alright. And this will do a little damage to him. And not really, uh, too much damage to us, which is good, so. Alright, let's see the Kage Ibushi no Jutsu. And we're drawing Kage Ningen, honestly, pretty consistently. I only have one of this card. It's definitely worth it, though, in my deck. Go, split and deviate. Use your Shadow Blast attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, Kageningen laughing at you. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love Kageningen. He's got a lot of personality. All right. Effects. Ooh, man, that's scary. All right. I guess I'll move this Kageningen. Should I move it around this side? Maybe. What's in my hand? Okay. Yeah. And I'll end the turn. What you got, Keith? I expected this to go fast, but we're not actually drawing, like, Kairiushins, you know, Aqua Dragons, that kind of stuff, so... A little bit of a different goal than we would normally have against Keith, but... Luckily, we did at least get, uh... I feel a little safer since Amoeba went off, you know. Got some C-squares to retreat to, in case I need to. That's always a good feeling. Hide your pressure! You are no match for my stone defense. Good job, Stone D. A little 800 extra damage for you, Keith. Alright, I gotta check what he powered up here. Because it could be a slot machine. Eh, well, it could be anything. <laughs> With that. Um, this is a pretty good scout. Okay. So let's summon this right here. Okay. Move Kaganingen. Move. No, let's stay right here. And then I will attack your Libra for another 500 key before you, you, you decide to use a limiter removal or anything, you know? Probably a good idea. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get a drink while this sand tsunami plays. Sand burial! sound effect. Do you guys hear that? It's kind of like a high pitch. I don't know. Could have something to do with the fact that I'm using an old PS Slim. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's end the turn now. He should come after Gold Royal. Okay. Uh, why didn't he move twice there? That's weird. 
Uh, what, ooh, wow, 2750? Not bad. I mean, you did power that thing up, though, so... 2750. what I get? That's... pretty good. Okay, let's move here. Let's play... Chorus. I know he likes to play Magic Jammer, so... I definitely want to bait stuff out before I play that. Let's get Stone D going. And we will end the turn. Go ahead, Keith. He's actually doing relatively well, all, thi uh, uh, all things considered. Okay, I thought he was going to fuse some stuff for, like, metals over there. You had me a little scared, Keith. You had me a little scared. Now, you had me in the first half. NGL. <laughs> Alright, let's check out one of his signature... Uh, Duelist Kingdom Monsters, Pendulum Machine. I think we've seen this attack before, but it's attack's pretty cool in this game, honestly. Yeah. Try Trigram's Palm Rotation, except it's with a blade. Victory, victory, I am the winner. Yeah, <laughs> your gold coin is no match for my machine. It's far superior in America. Oh, I didn't want you back there, Gold Boy, but okay. Alright. How can you go? I'm assuming this is Magic Jammer right there, because he hasn't played it at all, so. Uh, that's interesting. Let's just go with. Uh, let's attack first and ask questions later. Stone D. Brave Scizor. Yeah, you are brave, because, uh, it's not a very good monster. I guess you weren't brave, actually. You were in defense mode. Yeah, we're going to skip this battle, though. <laughs> All right. Next to his deck leader. That's good. If we if we hit his deck leader, that's game over, I guess. Um, uh, but let's block the zone. Let's go with Starboy right here. Yeah. And I'll move off the chorus. I guess we'll stay in defense mode. And uh, a... Go ahead, Keith. What you going to do? Run over your own card? Center, wow, brave. What a brave man. What you got, buddy? Power increase. Nice, nice. Yeah. Had a boy, Star Boy. Man, look at you being a five star monster all by yourself, man. Nice. <laughs> Speaking of Robotic Knight, we recently dueled uh, Nesbit in Yu Gi Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. This was his uh, deck master in the virtual world, so I don't know. Interesting in that game, yeah. yeah. So, because after that, after that, we got the rest of the big five. So, pretty interesting. Go Star Shower! Error. Time for rest mode. Engage. People. People. How can my robotic knight lose to a simple starfish in America? <laughs> All right, yeah, in comes Pendulum Machine. I expected that. Ah, finally moving that card, huh? Uh, well, you didn't defend yourself at all. So, basically, we get free DP for whatever... I mean, free DP... Free experience for whatever we want. Um, uh, main of the other one? Yeah, that is our deck leader. So, let's move to its star, boy. Uh, let's just uh, summon a maiden of the aqua here. Just to show you what you were up against, Keith. And, uh, yeah, stone D for the win. Wow. All it took was a little stone D. Nice. Okay. I don't know what that card he had beside him was the whole time, but it obviously was an invisible wire. Otherwise, he probably wouldn't have ran, so. Hey, nice. All right, Keith, that was, that was a little different than I expected that duel to be, but I like to see that our deck can still perform, even though I definitely didn't draw the best cards with Kyrushin. Uh Best card here is probably his uh, Robotic Knight, so I'm going to go for that. Okay, got it. Let's go for a three in a row. Okay, missed it, so in that case, let's go for Machine Conversion Pack, I guess? Uh, Okay, we got his deck later. It does have a high cost for like reincarnation, so I'm still good. Plus, like, I have seven completed, so that's something to consider. But there are only one of us right now, so. Alright, so two more duels and then we reincarnate. Okay, guys, as far as this episode goes, I think I have time for one more. 
Uh, but honestly, like, if my, uh, if my phone cuts off or something, you know, don't worry about the rest of it. We're just gonna, uh, cut to it to the start of the next episode, I guess. Um, Tears of the Mermaid is pretty thematically appropriate. So let's go down to our spells and traps here. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we finally take out the great monster himself, Maneater Bug, with 16. Yeah, let's do it. This is really more of a flood deck, so I could also add another ground attack or bug rod. I'll wait till we're done du dueling against uh, against bones as often, because I got to keep my deck cost low, you know. But I'll probably swap it, you know, with something a little later. Uh, but for now, let's switch to a different deck. Uh, Blue eyes or dark magician? Let's go with dark magician deck. Okay. Then we can go up against due to the rules, either Rex or Weevil. So uh, I guess Rex will be fine. And he is pretty easy to uh, turn lock. So <laughs> if we don't finish the duel in the episode, I'll definitely turn uh, uh, turn lock him off screen, and then we'll just show it at the starting next episode. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to you guys. Okay. Uh, Rex Raptor, here I come. With my Furious Sea King deck leader. <laughs> Alright. Uh, man, I'm, I'm having fun playing this game again. But yeah, uh, Robotic Knight, Nesbitt, Nightmare Troubadour. Man, I love the uh, the Noah event in that game right now. The storyline's so good. A lot to it in that game. Um, does this work on Beast Warriors? It does not. It's... Regardless, I think the best thing we can do first turn here is actually to make Knuckle Gal. Let's play it over here. Yeah, usually he likes to power up on his right side, so I think Knuckle Gal will do pretty good over here. Hopefully we draw the forest card pretty soon. Uh, power up? No, okay. She, she might have been okay over there, I don't know. Let's draw. Nice draws. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's just move Cocoon to the right side. If I do get it, that's what usually like I like to play it in the corner in this map. Pretty good, honestly. Uh, we'll move Necklegal number two right there. Go ahead, Rex. Defending, uh, huh? Alright. Let's, uh... Probably a magic card he's got right here. Let's just go into defense with Neckle Gal. Let's go to draw. Okay. Yeah, I could make Queen of Leaves, but it's not good on this field. I think I will go for. Hmm. We'll go for Tune 7 Skull. And I'll end the turn. Twice. Could this be the legendary armored blizzard? Must be. No, oh, Tune Summon Skull. Ah, ha. I know your deck all too well, Rex Raptor. But now it's time for. Ooh, Bandit Keith, you think you can handle my Tune Summon Skull? Now it's time for the Tune Attack. Oh, wait, I'm doing Rex Raptor. Why is it Bandit Keith? Go to Lightning! I like how Toon Summon Skull stretches before its attacks just like <laughs> Pretty funny. Another epic attack in this recording session. Oh yeah. Epic. <laughs> Pretty sure we got this with a three in a row. Alright. Alright, let's see what we drew for turn here. Uh that's a card. A pretty good card. Okay. Let's so, uh move to the side here. That card right here, actually. Yeah, I'm thinking I'll have Queen or uh, Pumpkin go around this side, so. Okay. Turn Endo. Oh, no power up. That's a good sign. Unless it's Brachio Radius, I don't think he can beat me. Yeah, in fact, he was going to defense, so that just tells me that, uh. Yeah, he's not too confident about whatever he's got there. Uh, oh, ho! Oh. And we're drawing the combos today. Okay. Two and scope. Okay. Oh, we have seven stars. I'll start pumping this turn. And then next turn, uh, Pequeno Bob. Going right here. 
All right. Turn in, though. Might have beaten someone's skull here, I don't know. Is it Brock you? Nope. Alright. Power and breeze. Dectoplasmic fortification. Yeah, Mega Zoller. Yeah, his dinos do have pretty solid defense, but uh yeah, Shadow Vice taking care of that. Nice. started this episode, but, uh, it's currently 2.45. I expect my phone to cut off any moment here, but, uh, so far so good. Uh, okay, we can summon the mob. Beauty. Larva of moth, baby. Alright. Nice. Okay. And I'll end the turn. What you got, Ritz? Running away. That's the sign of a coward. Go, my summon skull. Now let's play a new monster. Actually, let's play a new card. Let's go with. Eh, I'm not sure if this is actually a monster or not. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna see in beast things that way though, to find out what it is. Power up? Man, he hasn't powered up once this match. Pretty unlucky, honestly, with all the power-ups Rex has in his deck. For him not to power up yet is 